Good evening as we come on the air in the West tonight on this historic night from Washington where we have witnessed the inauguration of the 45th President of the United States, President Donald Trump. Tonight, he and the first family are right here at the White House. A short time ago, they were in the reviewing stand right here behind me on Pennsylvania Avenue. The parade at its end, they were celebrating the bands going by. And of course, tonight at this hour, the inaugural balls set to be underway. The entire Trump family will be staying right here at the White House tonight. And it all comes after a day of history and high drama here, as former presidents and a former rival all witnessed Donald Trump take the oath of office. 8.37 this morning, our first glimpse of the president-elect Donald Trump, just hours from becoming the 45th president, and the woman about to become first lady, Melania Trump, leaving Blair House, headed to a prayer service at St. John's Church. The vice president-elect Mike Pence, hours from his swearing-in, tweeting this image from the front row. At the same time, President Obama's final moments in the Oval Office, seen through the window, leaving a letter for his successor. 942, the president-elect's motorcade arrives at the White House, a glimpse of what appears to be a Tiffany box inside, a gift for the departing president and first lady, President Obama, with a greeting. President How are you? A handshake and then a kiss for Michelle Obama. Melania Trump presenting that blue box, a gift from Tiffany. President Obama then reminding them their photo is next. You go right here. Melania, you can go Arranging their order. A smile and a wave before entering the White House for coffee. Tradition. Two families on the morning of the inauguration. At the Capitol, guests arriving, President George W. Bush and former First Lady Laura Bush. The Bush family did not support Donald Trump. The former president asked how his parents are doing after both were hospitalized. My parents are feeling better, he told reporters. Shortly before 11 a.m., President-elect Trump and President Obama emerging from the White House. They get into the motorcade, riding together to the Capitol. With millions watching on live television, at that same moment, Hillary Clinton, holding former President Bill Clinton's arm, arriving at the Capitol. After promising to attend the inauguration, a bruising campaign, she won the popular vote but lost the presidency to Mr. Trump. Walking down the steps, the camera right there, Secretary Clinton can be seen taking a few deep breaths before walking out and smiling. Clinton tweeting, I'm here today to honor our democracy and its enduring values. I will never stop believing in our country and its future. 1101, the president-elect arrives at the Capitol, greeting those lined inside the halls. 11.05 is five children taking their seats. A big smile on Ivanka's face. She is moving to Washington with her family. Eric Trump saying to his wife, this is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. The crowd begins to chant. And then the president-elect Donald Trump looking right into the camera and smiling. Melania adjusting 10-year-old Barron's tie. The president-elect of the United States, Donald John Trump. And then the oath of office on two Bibles, Abraham Lincoln's and the Bible his mother gave him as a boy. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. At 12 noon, Donald Trump becomes the 45th president of the United States. And then with members of Congress and his predecessors right there listening, Mr. Trump pledged to change Washington. For too long, a small group in our nation's capital has reaped the rewards of government while the people have borne the cost. Washington flourished, but the people did not share in its wealth. Politicians prospered, but the jobs left and the factories closed. The outgoing president right there. Mothers and children trapped in poverty in our inner cities, rusted out factories scattered like tombstones across the landscape of our nation, an education system flush with cash, but which leaves our young and beautiful students deprived of all knowledge, and the crime, and the gangs, and the drugs that have stolen too many lives and robbed our country of so much unrealized potential. This American carnage 
stops right here and stops right now. And the new president with a promise. From this day forward, a new vision will govern our land. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. The time for empty talk is over. Now arrives the hour of action. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And yes, together, we will make America great again. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you. Then, the departing president kissing his wife's hand as they walked to the helicopter no longer called Marine One. The new president and first lady watching. A final wave from President Obama, the 45th president, waving back. 1.10 p.m., the president signing his first law and signing for his official nominations, his cabinet picks, surrounded by family. Then, statuary hall inside the Capitol. President Trump arrives, Democrats and Republicans waiting. Among them, his one-time rival, Secretary Clinton, who he singled out. Because I was very honored, very, very honored, when I heard that President Bill Clinton and Secretary Hillary Clinton was coming today. And I think it's appropriate to say, and I'd like you to stand up. I'd like you to stand up. And honestly, there's nothing more I can say because I have a lot of respect for those two people. 3.30 this afternoon, the President and First Lady watch from the Capitol steps as the military honors its new Commander-in-Chief. Ivanka Trump tweeting, heading to the parade. And the parade begins. Along the way, the new First Family getting out of the motorcade. The President and the First Lady waving on their way to the White House.